Hey guys, what's going on? This is Benjamin with Bimmer Exotics, and in today's video, we're gonna be asking the question, or answering the question that I actually got from a viewer, which is, can you actually house ball pythons together in the same tub, cage, or vivarium? So today we're gonna be in the reptile room, as usual, well, for most of the videos we do at least, and we're just gonna go through, look at some really cool ball pythons, and we're gonna answer the question, can you actually house ball pythons together? So before we go any further, this is gonna be under the assumption that you are not breeding your ball pythons, that you are just keeping them as pets, which most people that watch this channel do, and you just wanna know, hey, do I have to get separate cages or can I actually just throw these guys together and could they live together? So my short answer before we go any further, if you guys just want the straight up answer would be, in most cases, no. So we can turn around and we'll go look at some ball pythons while I discuss the rest of the sort of in-depth from here. So first of all, like I said, the, the main reason I would say no is because there's just too many things that can go wrong, guys, okay? First of all, if you put, let's talk about males. If you take a male ball python and you put it into another male's cage, that male is going to feel like its territory basically is being invaded and they're going to fight. And in the wild, when they, you know, fought or combated and battled, the loser could just escape. But unfortunately, in captivity, unless you have like a room-sized cage, which most people don't, if you're in a tank or in a tub, that snake can't escape, and it can actually end up in one of the snakes dying through the combat and getting too bad. And it's just overall horrible for your snake's health. So we'll go ahead and look, and I'll show you guys an example. So, let me move this table back, actually. Uh, probably should have been moved earlier. But let's look in here first. So I believe right here, we have a male spider ball python. He's looking great as always. And if I were to take this guy and directly throw him in to, let's say, this guy's tub, who is, of course, in shed for the video, they would combat. That's exactly what they do. I'd throw him in there. This guy would feel like his space would be, was being invaded. they go up, probably take him a few minutes to get to that stage, but then they'd start, you know, kind of pounding each other's bodies against each other. And they normally won't really bite and coil, but I have seen it happen before on YouTube from people trying it out, and it's really not a good situation. So if you're even considering it, I would tell you no, first of all, but you never, ever, 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 under any circumstances, put a male and another male together in the same cage. You're going to end up with one of them either severely injured or dead. Second thing we want to look at and never even attempt to even consider doing is taking something like this Mojave female right here and throwing in this spider male with her. It's pretty simple. You guys can probably figure out what would happen. Basically, uh, you would have some babies and you'd have to try to get rid of them. And if you're just keeping ball pythons for fun, that's not really the easiest thing to do, especially if you don't like have a place to sell them easily. So we never want to put a male and a female together unless, of course, you are considering or trying, of course, to get the female pregnant to breed. Now, the final and only time that you could even like comprehensibly have this work if it was a female and another female. And I'll show you again an example that you never want to do. You never want to take this female right here, like I said, you wouldn't want to take this Mojave and go ahead and throw it in with this pastel because you're going to have problems, okay? Um, even if they don't combat, I've seen them, lots of the times people say that they're cuddling together when they sit on top of each other. That's not really what's happening. It's just like the heat source is back here and they're sort of actually fighting for getting the heat source. And the one on the bottom is just the one that got there first and then the other one sits on top of, you know, that snake. So having two females together in a tub set up like this, and this female should actually going to be moved up soon. But having two females in a small tub like this is also something you're never even going to want to think about attempting because it's not going to work. They're going to be combating for the same resources and feeding is just something that's not going to happen. And if one does feed, the other one's going to be so scared of the bigger female, she's not even going to try to eat. So having them in a tub like that is a big no-no. I would never suggest doing that. However, if you had two baby snakes, okay, and you had a big tank. I'm talking maybe 60, 40 to 60 gallons, okay? So we're talking about a tank, let's turn around. Not a tank like this size. If they were baby snakes, this would be way too small, okay? If we're talking about, you know, maybe even a 20 gallon uh, would be too small. You're gonna need at least a 40 gallon plus. And then, for at least a baby, you can have some, you know, consideration of having them together, okay? If you're gonna keep Two ball pythons, let's say baby females, because we can't do males, like I already said. Let's say this lesser that's in there, that little lesser right there. And let's say this pastel hip for clown girl, right? 
There, let's say you guys are gonna try to house those two snakes together. You're gonna need to meet a few different requirements. Number one, they're going to need individual hiding spots each. You can't just have one log in there because then they're gonna fight over that and you're gonna have problems. So like I said, in a big 40 gallon, first thing is you have to have multiple hides spread out throughout the enclosure. Second thing is you can't just have one basking spot or heating spot because again, it's gonna track them both to the same area and they're just gonna sit on there and sit on top of each other, which is not what we want. Again, females aren't really gonna come back, but again, one sitting on top of each other is just not the best thing that you can have for your pet snakes. Now, I'll use this 20 gallon for an example. If I was personally gonna do it, for whatever reason you guys are interested in doing it, whether it be display or just convenience, I would have it set up that either you use a heat lamp or a heat pad, which I have right there like that, and you have it on one side of the tank and then a heat on the other side. The reason you do that, and you have to make sure that they're exactly equal, they have to be the same exact temperature. You can't have one warmer and one colder because if you have one that's warm and one that's cold, even if it's just a few degrees off, they're all gonna go to the warmer side. So you have to be equal. But the reason you do that is that the snakes have now a place to escape from the other where they have all the requirements met, right? They have somewhere to hide, they have an area that is heated up, and overall, they're not seeing the other snake and they're not gonna have, you know, problems with that. And all you have to do then is on feeding day, you go in, you should have one on one side, one on the other side, you feed the one on that side, you feed the one on the other side in their cage and you're done. Now, the only problem with this is that with that 40 gallon tank, you're not gonna be able to keep those two big adult females in that sort of setup. When they get to that age where they're, you know, pushing 1500 grams, you're gonna need to go up to something even bigger, like a 60 gallon long at least, to have two adult females in there. And again, hot spot on one side, hot spot on the other side, and right in the middle is where they can go to cool down if they need to. They're gonna spend most of their time on the hot side though, so that's why it's on the outside of the tank. And overall, if you guys really do want to do a display, I've seen it done many different ways. Some people just throw them in a tank together. That's way too small. Some people say that it doesn't really matter. In my opinion, unless you're trying to set up a specific display or unless you're just trying to have a really nice looking setup, I would never really recommend housing ball pythons together. However, like I said, it is possible and I do have friends that I know who have done it successfully for many years using a big tank, hot spot on one side, hot spot on the other side, and then a cool spot in the middle like I showed you with this 20 gallon right here. So if you guys want to take that sort of a leap and you want to try it out, test it out, see if you can do it successfully, I would say minimum 40 gallon long hides on one side, hide on the other side. You have to make sure those snakes feel safe, especially since it's such a big area with that tank. But as long as you make those snakes feel safe and you're not putting a male and a female together or a male and a male together, you should be 100% fine doing that. As long as they have enough space to get away from each other as they would in the wild and they have a cool spot, you should be fine. But if you see any stuff, like you know the snakes sitting on top of each other or the snakes, you know, even slightly combating or the snakes being near each other a lot of the times, that's when you kind of need to say, well, you really have to consider your snake's health at that point, okay? So if it was me, at that point, I would say either you gotta change the cage, make it bigger or something like that, or you're going to have to separate the snakes and just have them in different cages. In my opinion, it's much easier just to have two different ball pythons in separate cages, but like I said, if you really want to for display purposes or whatever, it is possible to do in a bigger enclosure. So don't let anybody ever tell you that it's not possible. Again, I don't recommend it just because of the space and the resources that is required, but it is possible and you could technically do it in a bigger cage like that. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you liked the video, please give a like. Of course, if you like the channel, consider subscribing. We do, we try to do videos about once every week, and we're getting back on track doing every single day. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, trying to get you guys the best possible care for your ball pythons that is out there on the internet. So like I said, hope you guys did enjoy this video very much. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.